Right, I'm very depressed about this. The, the rest of the development is pretty awful, but though this particular section is really horrendous for, for people to live in. Councillor Cordova, I think I had you next on my list. Thank you very much, Mayor. And I think we've touched on most things because it's going to be a long agenda. I won't speak long on this. But to say that I recognise and I thank the, the people who made their submissions opposing this development, uh, or indeed, no matter what their opinion was of the development, I, I thank people for, for getting involved. Um, the traffic, the pedestrians, the cyclist issues, the parking, uh, we've heard about, but as the report says, that these comply. Um, a quick question on parking. Can you please take us through the... I realise that there's 74 spaces, I think there are, and parking complies. Um, what's the calculation about why visitor parking... Please take us through parking for residents and visitors. What's, what's the requirement and how come this meets it? Ms Tyler Moore. Um, through you, Mayor, the best calculation you'll find is on page 51. Um, this is our checklist that we use to do the assessments which goes through the zone and all the codes that apply to the application. So page 51 has E6 parking and access code. Um, so it says there you need seven one-bedroom dwellings, seven cars. So if it's a one better, you need one space. If it's two or more better, or a house that contains a bedroom, a room that could be used as a bedroom, because we're on to that, you need two parking spaces. And then you need um, one visitor parking space per four dwellings. And that's how you get Thank the you. number. And so that's the ratio 35 over 4 equals nine visitor car parking spaces. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. That clarifies that. The real issue here, of course, is that the proposal does not comply in relation to the ground floor units in Block C, as we've heard, that they have their private open space provided as decks of 12.22 metres squared. However, they don't have a finished floor level that's entirely above 1.8 metres, above the finished ground level, excluding garage, carport or entry foyer. All other units have complying private open space. And so I take the recommendation of, or I respect the recommendation of the planning officers, but here's where I disagree. The performance criteria, it says, according to our planning officers, that the performance criteria here, uh, so we're talking now about 11.4.3, private open space. The fact is that this proposal does not have enough private open space. It should have 24 metres squared with those kind of deck areas, not 12.22. The propo And here I'm quoting, the proposal does not comply in relation to ground floor units in Block C that have their private open space provided as decks of 12.22 square metres. However, they don't have a, a finished floor level above 1.8 metres above the finished ground level. The reason why we're supposed to believe that it meets the performance criteria is because, quote, the decks face northwest and will receive good solar access. And also, quote, the private open space areas are able to serve as an extension of the dwelling for outdoor relaxation, dining, entertaining, and children's play in the same manner as the upper level dwellings in Block C. And yet, on page 14, it then says, quote, the dwellings in Block C will have a fold-out clothesline or rack provided on the deck area. So I'm supposed to hold these two ideas simultaneously that it's going to be a great entertainment outdoor area, but also it's way too small. It's smaller than the performance criteria. Forgive me, it's smaller than the acceptable solution allows. And it's got a fold-out clothesline. This kind of indicates to you how much space there is for outdoor dining and relaxation. There isn't enough space. There isn't enough private open space. And... I respectfully disagree with the assessment that it meets the performance criteria. I don't think it does for that reason. And so because it doesn't comply with 11.4.3, I'll be voting against it. Thank you. Thank you. Count, uh, Ms Tyler Moore, did you want to comment on the clothesline or any of the issues that Councillor Cordova has raised? Pass. <laughs> Councillor Wass. 